Hello again my precious, this is a new video on my channel and today uh, our topic is really interesting, it's a little bit uh, more proficient than other topics but uh, I hope you will understand everything. So let's start! Prama ta ne prama mova Direct and indirect speech but in Ukrainian. It's not complicated. Watch it! V čemu pravo? Let's learn the room. Prama ta ne prama mova. Direct and indirect speech in Ukrainian. That's pretty easy. You know the direct speech, it's when the author says something, we open uh, this uh, science uh, and uh, we have this direct speech. Yes, and the direct speech when we just uh, um, retell the uh, sentence that the, a person said. So, uh, in Ukrainian it's pretty easy. The only difference is between uh, affirmative uh, uh, and uh, uh, some request or order or uh, in, uh, some interrogative, yes, uh, and so on. So, let's look, look through this. Stvrdženja, uh, affirmative, priamamova, direct speech, look at this. Vykvadač skazav. Завтра ми підемо на екскурсію до музею Тараса Шевченка. A teacher said, semicolon, tomorrow we will go uh, on the excursion to the museum of Taras Shevchenko. And how to deal with it in indirect speech? Look here. Викладач сказав, що завтра ми підемо на екскурсію до музею Тараса Шевченка. Uh, the teacher said that tomorrow we would go to the excursion uh, to the museum of Taras Shevchenko. Look here, we use "що" and we don't change any tenses in indirect speech like we do it in English. We don't change it. Uh, we have future tense here. Yes? In the, in the indirect speech, like indirect, only put "що" and that's it. That's pretty easy. Okay, uh, order or request. Викладач сказав нам відкрити підручник і читайте текст. The teacher said to us, "Open your textbooks and read the text." So, how do we do it? in the indirect speech. Викладач сказав нам, щоб ми відкрили підручник і читали текст. The teacher told us to open the textbook and read the text. Uh, and here we use щоб. And here we change the tense to the past. Ми відкрили і читали it the, that's just past forms. So, again, after що, we don't change anything. After щоб, we change to the past form. You see, that's uh, only after щоб we do this. And uh, only when orders or requests. So, that is, that's it. Uh, check the video about past forms if you forgot. Uh, it's really pretty easy uh, past tense in Ukrainian, so just check it. If I won't forget, I will leave the uh, uh, references, the links uh, in the description or put them somewhere there, so you can check it. Next, uh, the questions with the question word. That's pretty easy. So, uh, direct speech. Коли будуть екзамени? Запитала студенти. When are the exams? Students asked. Uh, студенти записали, кома. Коли будуть екзамени? The students asked when uh, the exams would be. So you see that we don't change tense here. Only put the question word and that's it. Студенти запитали, кома, коли будуть екзамени. That's it, pretty easy. And the... Uh, 
sentences without question word. Yes, questions without question word. Питання без питального слова. Direct speech. Ти підеш завтра на екскурсію, запитав мене друг. Will you go to the excursion tomorrow? My friend asked me. Друг мене запитав, чи піду я завтра на екскурсію. My friend asked me if I go to the, if I would go to the excursions tomorrow. Uh, so here we have uh, чи, it's if in this case. And we don't change, we just change only uh, the sentence of who we ask. Yes? So if uh, Mane, me, asked me, so we ya pidu in uh, indirect speech. Yeah? Chi pidu ya, even the word order uh, isn't changed. So you see. Uh, and the tense uh, isn't changed here too. So you see that. Uh, P – пряма мова, uh, direct speech, а слова автора – author's words. And here are some spelling things for you. Uh, so, semicolon, uh, we open these things. Uh, uh, then uh, our direct speech uh, and any sign you wish. And again, we close them. And uh, we have another type. Uh, in this sense, uh, our speech, then uh, a dash, and uh, the author's words, and the point, uh, and the dot. And again, uh, if uh, author's words is in the middle, it's like here. Uh, open our signs here. Uh, direct speech, dash, uh, author's words, dot. Then dash and again uh, uh, also uh, and again our direct speech and then we close after the dot. So you just can screenshot these examples and uh, right now we are going to practice. Potrenomasa, let's practice. We have only one big exercise here, so just replace this. Uh, direct speech to indirect. So, look through it, uh, put on the pause this video, try to do it. Uh, again, I remind you that uh, if it's not the order, uh, I just uh, uh, just uh, affirmative sentence, we don't change any tenses. If it is order, we use shop and then change tense to the past. And if it is a question, with question word, we just rewrite it, the sentence, with the words, with the question words in it. And if it is without question word, we use chi. And uh, change, if, if we need it, we change pronouns. If we don't need it, we don't change pronouns. So stop it, try to do it, and then we'll check. Vidpavidi, answers. So, I have done this exercise for you, so here we have all the answers. So, let's look through them. Direct speech. Samir сказав мені, ти запізнишся на першу пару, якщо будеш повільно збиратися. Samir uh, told me, you will be late on the first lesson if you get ready so slowly. Indirect speech. Самір сказав мені, що я запізнюся на першу пару, якщо буду повільно збиратись. Самір told me that uh, I would be late on the first lesson if uh, I got ready slowly. So you see that we don't change anything like tenses. We put що and only change the pronouns uh, to me. So я, I. Uh, we don't change tense, it's future, so only pronouns and the forms, yes, запізнюся, я запізнюся, ти запізнишся, yes, just this case, o only pronouns and uh, according to this pronouns, change the verb. Next, uh, number two, 
Я вже був на екскурсії в музеї Тараша Савченка, сказав мені мій однокурсник. I have already been on the excursions in the museum of uh, Тарас Шевченко, uh, my friend, uh, my co-groupmate told me. So, мій однокурсник сказав мені, що вже був на екскурсії в музеї Тараса Шевченка. So, we don't change anything at all. Uh, my groupmate told me that he had already been uh, on the excursions in the museums of Taras Shevchenko. Uh, so, just stop and uh, everything is the same. Uh, we can put що він вже був here, він вже був here, or we can just escape the pronoun що вже був, and that's it. Uh, pretty easy. And we don't change any tenses here, like in English. Приходьте завтра після занять, сказав йому секретар декана. Come tomorrow after classes, uh, this uh, dean uh, secretary told him. Dean secretary told him uh, that he uh, had to come tomorrow after the classes. Dean's secretary told him, so we uh, use this here job because it's a request or order and we change tenses here, so we change to past. Vin prishov, past tense. So, and you see that I changed here a little bit because it drives me crazy. We have feminitive and sometimes in textbooks they don't use feminitive. Uh, Secretar decana, that's uh, masculine, but she said it's, uh, the verb is in feminine. Sometimes it happens, but we have feminitives actually. Secretarka decana, yes, then secretary female, secretarka, so it's more logical, I guess. Okay, uh, next. Хто сьогодні черговий? Запитав студент викладач. Who is in duty today? Uh, the teacher asked the students. So, викладач запитав студентів, хто сьогодні черговий. We don't change here anything at all, because we have question word here. Yes, just like that. Uh, the teacher asked the students who was on duty today, or that day. Again, uh, ти був на студентській конференції, запитав я Віктора. Uh, very good students conference, I asked Victor. I, uh, я запитав Віктора, чи він був на студентській конференції. I asked Victor if he uh, had been in the students conference. Uh, but in Ukrainian, we don't change tenses. And only put чи uh, in a place where question words uh, should be. So, like if in English. Uh, number Six. Тобі сподобався Київ? Запитала ми друга, який приїхав із Конго. Uh, uh, did you like Kiev? Uh, we asked the friend who came uh, from Congo. Uh, we asked friend who came from Congo if he liked Kiev. Ми запитали друга, який приїхав із Конго, чи йому сподобався Київ. That's it. We only put чи and change the pronouns. Yes, here, because uh, according to whom we ask. That's it. Okay, next. Розкажи нам про своє місто, попросили ми його. Uh, we uh, asked him to tell about his city. Ми попросили його розказати про своє місто. Uh, it's uh, another, like, advice to you. You can uh, change the tense and use shop, but... Uh, like here, but we can use infinitive. If we use the words to tell, ask, like ask, like a request. Ми попросили його, we asked him, розказати its infinitive, to tell about his city. That's much easier, you see. Next, number eight. Коли ти ще раз приїдеш до Києва? Запитала ми друга. When uh, will you come to Kiev once more? We asked our friend. We asked our friend when uh, he will come to Kiev. So, we don't change ten, uh, tenses, we just change pronouns and the verbs according to these pronouns. And that's it. 
but the, ch the tense is the same. Part two of our exercise. Uh, okay, direct speech. Kasem zapetav mene, jaki ispit te skladaš osredo. Kasem asked me, uh, what uh, exam will you pass on Wednesday? Uh, in direct speech. Kasem zapetav mene, jaki ispit ja skladaju osredo. Kasem asked me, uh, which exam I would pass on Wednesday? Uh, we don't change tense, it's present tense, but we change the pronoun, the ja, and changed, of course, the verb. Skladaju, skladaješ, skladaju. That's it. Pretty easy. Number two. John сказав, Я хочу надіслати додому листи посілку. John said, I want to send home a letter and a parcel. If you don't change here anything, except he told it about himself. So, John сказав, що хоче надіслати додому листи посилку. John said that he wants to send home the letter in the parcel. Uh, we don't change tenses. We only change the pronoun. Uh, and we can drop this pronoun. John сказав, що хоче. Or we can say, jo John сказав, що він хоче. Just put here він. And that's it. Uh, and the verb according to John. Yes, here. Я хочу. Я хочу, but він хоче. He wants. Next. <coughs> Сестра зателефонала мені і попросила, передай моє вітання Тетяні. Uh, my sister called me and asked, uh, give my uh, greetings to Тетяна. <coughs> uh, sister uh, phoned me and asked to uh, tell her greetings to Тетяна. So again, we use infinitive here. Сестра зателефонувала мені і попросила передати. Uh, we can use job and then we can change tenses, but we can use only infinitive when we uh, request something. Yes? Попросила передати. So, we just use an infinitive here. Її вітання Тетяні. Her greetings to Тетяна. Next, uh, Олег запитав Джона, студентська конференція вже відбувалася? відбувалася? Олег asked John, if the, st the students' conference has already uh, been? Олег запитав Джона, чи студентська конференція вже відбувалася? Олег asked John, if students' conference uh, had already passed. So, uh, we don't change here the time, the tense at all. It's present tense. So we change here nothing, only put ch. Next. Mahmoud сказав мені, мені подобається вірші Тараса Шевченка. Mahmoud told me, I like the poems of Taras Shevchenko. Mahmoud сказав мені, що йому подобається вірші Тараса Шевченка. We leave present tense here, but only change the pronouns. Uh, Mahmoud told me that he li liked the poems of Taras Shevchenko. Uh, uh, but we leave uh, here present tense. Yomu podobetsa. Only change the pronoun here. Many, me, I, and yomu, he. He likes. Yomu podobetsa. So, here th that's it. Number six. Uh, Mokola poradif yemu prochitai tsivishi. Mokola advised him to read this, uh, uh, read this poem. Uh, Mokola poradif yemu prochitai tsivishi. Mokola advised him to read this poem. Again, uh, we use infinitive here. Yes? Uh, advised him, and then just infinitive. Prochitai tsivishi. Read this poem. Uh, but we can use shop. Щоб він прочитав ці вірші. But uh, that's a little bit complicated. We can use just infinitive. And the last one. Іван запитав Мустафу. У тебе є кобзар Тараса Шевченка? Іван asked Мустафа. Uh, do you have кобзар by Тарас Шевченко? It's the selection of poems of this poet. Ukrainian poet Тарас Шевченко. Іван asked Мустафа if he had uh, кобзар by Тарас Шевченко. Uh, so, <clears throat> or we change only pronouns here. У нього, у нього, and the uh, verb is the same, yeah. У тебе є, у нього, yeah, so here is the same. So, uh, 
This is the end of the exercise. Um, please uh, feel free to leave me any questions in the comments. I will answer everything. I will answer all your questions. Uh, and uh, feel free to give me ideas about new videos. I have some. Of course, I have my own program. But you can ask me to make a video about uh, some uh, other aspects of Ukrainian language, there are a lot of them, so please feel free if you wish and just ask me in the comments if it is difficult for you to understand. Okay? So, right now, you can ask me anything. <laughs> So this is the end of our video. I hope you have liked it. I hope you enjoyed it immensely like me, have enjoyed doing it. Uh, give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, not to miss any other videos. And we'll see each other next Friday. Bye-bye.